So here's a young lady. Her name is Patrice Davis. She's bought my business. She got the experience through driving. Now she's getting contracts from Medicaid, contracts from group homes. She's so excited. She calls me so excited. And today, this is going to be more of a testimonial. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to the channel of Mr. Vincent M. Nash. Here on my channel, I love talking about and promoting entrepreneurship. I have a passion for real estate. And I really love motivating people. I love watching people grow. I do believe that if you bless others, you will be blessed tenfold. So trust me. I'm chasing my riches. I'm chasing my glory. I'm trying to acquire all that is there and has been given for me to acquire. When I do a video, I'm very cognizant of what is the listener, what is the viewer going to learn from this video. I want the viewer to learn something and to be able to walk away with a skill or knowledge that they can use in application for real life. That's my goal. That's why I do the pros and cons of hard money lending or what is the Burr method for a beginner or learning about credit. Those are the things that I try to teach. And today, this is going to be more of a testimonial. I'm not going to teach. I really just want to talk. And that's what I want to do. I want to give you a testimonial. I myself... I am a testimony of what non-emergency medical transportation can do. And furthermore, I also have a home health care business. Both of these lie up under the umbrella of the Medicaid business. So I also have a business where I manage personal care workers. My wife is a nurse, so she plays that role. You can get paid to take care of loved ones. So non-emergency medical transportation and Nash Home Healthcare, I am a testimony of that. Being a young black man in America, the plight that I have faced and the plight that many face in the low income areas of America, I'll even say low to mid income areas of America, is what do we do to increase our revenue so that we can go from living a low to mid income lifestyle in America to a mid to high income lifestyle in America? In the capitalistic society of America, that is our goal. And that is the challenge. I didn't grow up with any particular set of skills. I do not have any particular set of skill that would allow me to create a business out of that that I could passionately go forth and try to create wealth. And when you live in the hood, when you live in the ghetto, when you live in a low income society, the parameters and the structures are in place for you to simply work at a wage and it is very difficult for you to obtain revenue. And this is why I have stressed and pressed non-emergency medical transportation because it is a method for you to increase your revenue and it's a method that just about anybody can dive into, can take advantage of like the young lady that you're going to meet. And what I try to stress and impress upon people is time is not on your side. Analysis by paralysis is the number one detriment to your growth. Here you are listening to me. Maybe you've watched a few of my videos, but what steps 
have you taken to execute, to create, and to build so you can begin? It took me eight years at the beginning of the first year of my non-emergency medical transportation, I was completely broke. I was a renter. I had no assets to my name. Fast forward eight years later, I sold my business. I personally have 35 units of real estate. I also have a Nash Home Healthcare business. Let me give you some numbers. I ran that shit up. Excuse my language. I took one van and I went up to 15. I got up to 15 in that eight year span. I ran it up. At my highest peak, I reported revenue of $970,000 for my transportation business. A million dollar business. And our Nash Home Healthcare business did another 500,000. That's 1.5 million in revenue. Ask yourself, what could you do if 1.5 million dollars passed through your fingertips? What kind of investments, what kind of moves, what kind of maneuvers could you make? And that is the key. How does a low income individual get the revenue Non-emergency medical transportation can provide that for you. And as long as you're willing to do the work, you, yes you, the person that's watching me and listening to me, you can do it. So here's a young lady. Her name is Patrice Davis. And she worked for me for about five years. Neither Patrice, eight, nine years ago when I started this business, nor I had any idea what life would do and bring to us. But once you put in the work and believe in yourself and you take that risk, you cannot discover new oceans. You cannot discover new adventures. You cannot discover new experiences unless you have the courage to leave the shore, the protection that you are in. So you got to put in the work. And here's a young lady who worked for me. She showed up to work every day. When she worked for me, she came to work. Yes, she had a good attitude. Yes, she had a smile. Because attitude is everything. So even when you don't understand where the light will be coming from, when you don't understand where the hope, where you don't understand where your rescue will be coming from, you still wake up in the morning. If you choose to do something, then you do it excellently and you try to be the best at it. So she came to work. But she wasn't always happy. Life has a way of beating us down. Circumstances, issues, maybe family having legal problems, financial problems, health problems. It tends to beat us up, especially in my community. That's why mental health is such a big issue as well. So here was a young lady. And from what I remember, she would come to work. She had a smile on her face. But you could see she was dealing with issues. You could see she was dealing with life. It wasn't the easiest. But she made it happen. This is what I remember of her. And she had a good heart. But life had a way of kicking you in the ass on a daily basis. Fast forward now. She's bought my business. I sold her the business. I didn't try to bank her. I wasn't trying to make a whole lot of money. I basically wanted to cover the cost of the vehicles. I don't want to put her business out there, but it was more than 10000 and less than twenty. She worked up what she needed for her to enter into this field. 
She got the experience through driving. I could not give her all of my clients because you can't give somebody your Medicaid clients. Those are yours through contracts. All I could give her was my vans and a few private pay contracts that were willing to give her a chance. Very similar to myself. I can remember like it was yesterday. I had my vans, I had my passion, I wanted to get out there. And the same person, the same nursing home that gave me my first opportunity, that called me up and said, we will privately pay you to transport our residents to medical appointments. That same nursing home, eight years ago, I maintained such a good relationship with them that they were her main provider when she started as well. Now she's getting contracts from Medicaid, contracts from family care, contracts from group homes. She's so excited. She calls me so excited. I love you. You've changed my life. Now you see the smile in her face, the twinkle in her eye. She stops by on the regular, wants to show off her vans, wants to let me know what she's been up to. It's a blessing. I am so happy that I was able to provide that to her. It was a blessing. And now she has begun to experience life differently. And she has ideas and she has goals. And it's such a beautiful thing. So it's a testimony. I just wanted to give you a testimony just to show you. And then furthermore, for me to be able to provide that to her. For me to be able to pass that along to somebody in my community. For us to rise up together. Isn't that what it's all about? Isn't that what it's all about? So I just, uh, this particular video was more of a testimony. I just wanted to show you that it's real. It's real. I mean, my life has completely changed. Um, I pick my kids up every day, drop my kids off every day. I do what I want to do. Everybody goes around claiming they a boss. Such a beautiful, cute word. But that's not the truth. And let me be also, I just want to say this. The majority of people in the world are not stand-up people. That's why the successful are few. The majority of people do not keep their word. That's why those that can take themselves from a low income to a high income position are few. And I just pray that whoever is watching this video, whoever listens to me, you take the risk. And not only do you take the risk, but you take the opportunity to use it as self-development to become the best person that you can be for yourself, for your family, and for the world. So I'm finna start out here. This is actually, this is her van. complimentary transportation services. I actually sold her my vans. You know what I'm saying? And uh, she converted one. So I wanted to start out here first just to just to show you. One, one used wheelchair van. It's one of my old ones. I took the logo off. I kept one logo. I kept one logo in remembrance of my grind. Nash Transportation. Okay, so I want y'all to meet the lady I sold it to. I'm finna just ask her a couple questions. First, can you start off by telling me what's your name? Patrice Davis. Okay. And uh, what uh, what business are you in? I'm in the non-medical transportation business. Okay. How long have you been doing that? I've been driving for other companies for about 22 years. 
Um, I just got my own company as of June 1st, 2021 from Mr. Vincent Nash. Oh. Now, in your own words, how has your experience been in the non-emergency medical transportation business as an owner so far for the last two months? I'm just going to say I understand why my previous bosses <laughs> conducted the way they did. That's what I'm going to say. Because it's not a joke at all. It's... it's it's, it's a piece of work. <laughs> We're keeping the vans up, keeping drivers, trying to keep the clients, trying to keep everybody happy. It's a, it's a, it's a hard job to do, but I'm doing it and I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> How has the money been so far compared to jobs you have had in the past? My first six months, I did pretty good. First six months, I, I did great my first six months. Now it has slowed down and it's picking back up. So it's it's here or there, but it's still good money. Good. But one more. Do you feel like this will be able to provide you an opportunity to do other things you want to do? Oh, yeah, for sure. Not a doubt at all. Already working on the second opportunity. Okay. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, so that was Miss Patrice A. Davis. Um, it's a joy. And I really hope that you can find that same type of joy in whatever you choose to do. This is just one avenue. Have a great day. <laughs>